Here, we are removing the duodenum, the first of three segments of the small intestine. Recall that the small intestine gets its name from the diameter of the tube, which is narrower than the colon, or large intestine. We separate the small intestine from the colon, cutting just below the ileocecal junction, where the ileum of the small intestine joins the cecum of the colon. There is a significant quantity of connective tissue, or mesentery, holding the small intestine in its convoluted shape. This tissue is rich with a complex structure of blood vessels to ferry nutrients from the small intestine into the body. All three classes of macronutrients, lipids, proteins, and carbohydrates, are metabolized in the small intestine aided by pancreatic secretions.